Hello everyone, I'm Siddharth and welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to talk about what alternative options we have for an e-bass flute. So there could be a lot of beginners out there who are having a hard time being able to play an e-bass. It's understandable. e-bass is pretty long and you need to have a bit of long fingers or flexibility to stretch them across these holes. So, one, if you are unable to play e-bass because of that reason. Two, if you are building your finger flexibility to get to e-bass, there are two other flutes I believe are good options. One is F-bass and two is an F-sharp bass. So today I'm going to play a um, sergum and a small alap on all these three flutes so that you can understand how the sound compared to an e-bass. I'll start with an e-bass first. I hope you were able to hear how meditative and peaceful it sounded. Let me now move on to F bass. Just making sure it's F bass. to play the same all up on F bass though.
FBase is only a half note lower than eBase. So I hope you were able to hear how this is still as meditative as an eBase. Now let's move on to F sharp bass. have now heard sargam and alap on all these three flutes if somebody out there is wondering how a g bass would sound like it's not as meditative as these three flutes With sargam, you can already hear that it's not bass enough or low enough for that meditative sound. I'm still going to play those verses that I played on other flutes.
I hope you understood. G is the good or a good bass flute, but it definitely does not sound meditative. So I hope this comparison has, has given you guys an idea of how F, F bass and F sharp bass are good alternatives for an E bass. So the goal of this video is to help beginners out there not feel disappointed. If you're trying to play an E bass, it is going to take significant amount of practice. Just to give you an idea, I got this sometime in last September and October and after I bought it I played for a few weeks and then I started playing on it like continuously. I didn't use my C natural or G bass for a long time. So I have at least practiced for close to 300 hours on an E bass. So if I'm comparing myself to how I was able to play three, four months ago, I look at the videos and I see that I have significantly improved in the last four to five months. And I still have a long way to go to get more and more comfortable on an e-base. So what I'm trying to say is it is going to take significant amount of time. So please do not be disappointed if you're trying to play an e-base give it time so if you're a beginner who just started on a c natural and you're trying to play and your goal is to play an e bass you could do it in a few ways for example just like i did you can start with c natural after you get comfortable on it you can move on to a g bass so that is a good amount of difference and it'll take some months for your fingers to get used to it. I would say maybe give it another um, 80 to 100 hours of practice for you to get used to G bass. Once you're comfortable on G bass, you can then move on to E bass. Again, that could take another 100 hours or more or less. You, it could be a quick transition, maybe another 20, 30 hours of practice, you're good to go on E bass or it could take 100 or 150 hours. All you need to remember is do not be disappointed. It will take time. So another way to do this is buy multiple flutes between C natural and E bass. Um, for example, you can get C natural, then A bass and G bass, and then an F bass and an E bass. So you're skipping like a um, couple of flutes in between. So that way you don't need to buy all the flutes, but you still have these stepping stones to get to an E bass. Like you're not jumping from C to G and G to E. So you have in between an A bass flute and an F bass flute to help you transition to the next one. I hope the information that I am sharing here and my experiences will help another beginner out there. Please let me know in the comments what your experiences are playing an e bass and the difficulties that you guys are facing i have made an, another video about the issues that people face when it comes to posture while playing an e bass please watch that if you're interested in that thank you all see you in the next video